Hello friends, welcome to Tuesland.com. This is Virinder, and today we're gonna learn static variables. So let's get started. This is what we had done last time. So oops, this is not global variables. So let's delete this. Neither do we want this one. But I'm gonna keep this code. So here I have a function named myf, and this is the function definition where I will define the structure and the basic of this function that what it's gonna perform. And from here I will call this function so that it can work. So enough for function description. Now let's start it. First give a variable, name it a and give it a value of 20 or 30, whatever you want. Okay, now type dollar echo oops my mistake type echo dollar a and this will echo a and now let's do one more thing which is dollar a plus plus so what does that mean that first the value of a is 30 then the uh, when then it equals it that is it prints the value of 30 and then it will increase the value it to 31 so that's the code and let me execute it two more times so that you can see the difference there save it and now guess what's gonna be the output well I had given you enough time to guess and to make guesses so now let's check it out there if you had guessed it a 30 30 and 30 then you are right you are a brilliant genius so how it's gonna be 30 30 and 30 because when the this function uh, this first function call is calling this function at that time what's happening the value of a is 30 it returns 30 it becomes 31 and then it's um, it comes out of the loop and then again this function my f will call it again this again starts the loops now the value again a becomes 30 it again returns 30 and increase the values of a to 31 and again comes out of the loop then this third one also calls it and the same procedures what so on so it looks like that the value is not changing so there is a thing that I want to tell you and that's for which I'm doing this tutorial and that's static when you use this keyword then what it's gonna do uh, it's gonna keep the value that was last saved for the A so when dollar $A becomes 30 it will return 30 and then uh, it becomes 31 and keeps out of the loop and then when uh, we call it second time it's not gonna become 30 again but this time the value of a will be 31 because we had used static so it's gonna keep the last value when it exits the loop in a similar way it prints 31 and becomes 32 and for the third calling of this function it returns 32 so 30 31 and 32 would be the output save it hit F12 or F5 there 30 31 and 32 so that's how we use our static keyword and that's the static variable so making and variable static means that it's gonna keep the value uh, when it exits the loop and it's not deleted as um, it deleted normally so that's how we use static and that's I think the end of our tutorial in the next tutorial we will be learning constants so thank you and